We do have new information in the case of a suspected serial killer, D'Angelo Martin, who's charged in the murders of four women. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Alan Campbell. And today we heard incriminating evidence from a woman Martin has known for years. 7 Action reporter Kimberly Craig has that and what a judge decided about Martin having to stand trial. D'Angelo Martin's ex-girlfriend testified that he admitted to her to killing a woman. And she said whenever she did not do what he wanted her to do, he'd force himself on her and choke her. Would he ever be assaulted with you? Yes. D'Angelo Martin's longtime friend, a woman he dated for about a year, testified that he admitted to her that he killed Nancy Harrison by beating her. The medical examiner ruled Nancy Harrison died by blunt force trauma to the head. You told me you the girls had a two by four. Then there was the strangulation murder of Annetta Nelson, a 2018 killing for which another man had originally been charged with because he was seen dragging her body out of a vacant house. But DNA tests came back and prosecutors say they pointed to D'Angelo Martin and his defense attorney suggested that other man did more than just find the body. Mr. Henderson grabs the body, drags it down the stairs, and he is seen yelling and screaming over this body. Details of the deaths of Travisine Ellis and Tammy Jones were also entered, and while their bodies were too decomposed to determine a cause of death, prosecutors said DNA found at the scene also point back to D'Angelo Martin. Because these women didn't just die uh, because somebody murdered them, uh, but they uh, had their final moments uh, in forceful sexual activity with the defendant. At the end of today's hearings, Judge Kenneth King decided that there was enough evidence to order D'Angelo Martin to stand trial in all four murders. The witnesses' testimony when they didn't do what he wanted them to do, that he turned violent on them, attacked them, and in, in these four of these instances killed them. D'Angelo Martin is also facing multiple charges in two other cases. His alleged crimes include kidnapping and rape. Those two women survived. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.